And who presents this bride to be married? Perfect, go ahead. You guys will stand right here. Face one another if you would, and join hands. David and Jennifer, today you enter as individuals, but you will leave here as husband and wife, blending your lives, expanding your family ties, and embarking upon the grandest adventure of human interaction. The story of your life together is still yours to write. Marriage, marriage is founded upon sincerity and understanding, which leads to tolerance, confidence, and trust. It involves respect for each other's feelings, weaknesses, and faults. You believe that those qualities which have attracted you both to one another can be best developed during a lifetime spent together. A happy marriage will enable you to establish a home with love and stability where your family and friends will always be welcome and which will be a base from which the influence of your shared and we hope strength in life today can extend. Every day that you live Learn how to receive love with as much understanding as you give it. Find things within yourselves, then you can share them with one another. Do not fear this love. Have an open heart and a sincere mind. Be sincerely interested in one another's happiness. Be constant and consistent in your love for one another because from this comes security and strength. Now the Bible has given us what may be the world's best definition of what it means to love. So I would like to share with you both the well-known passage from 1 Corinthians 13 and offer this as a model for you in the new life that you are creating here today. Love is patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's faults, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, and to hope. It is always ready to endure whatever may come, because true love does not come to an end. Now love is the reason why this day was chosen by you both to begin your lives together. And love is the reason why you both will give with all of your heart for the good of the other. Love is the reason that together you'll become one. One in hope, one in believing in life, and one in sharing the coming years. It is before you are joined in marriage that I am to remind you of the solemn and enduring nature of the relationship of which you are about to enter. So I ask you, David, will you have Jennifer to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward to have and to hold, forsaking all others for better or for worse, for richer and poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish for as long as you both shall live. Yeah. And Jennifer, will you have David to be your lawfully wedded, hu wedded husband, from this day forward to have and to hold, forsaking all others, for better and for worse, for richer and poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish for as long as you both shall live. Now I ask that God bless the rings that David and Jennifer will exchange as a symbol of their love and fidelity. And we'll take a moment and pause, possibly. We have our runners. But Raymond, if you come forward with the ring presented to David. Just repeat after me as you place the ring on. Jennifer, with this ring, I thee wed. Jennifer, with this ring, I be wed. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Go ahead. Do a little rock back and forth like that. <laughs> Try a little rock. If you do a little rock, it helps. Yeah. Don't, don't break your <laughs> knuckle. <laughs> then Raymond, if we could have the ring, please. And Jennifer, repeating after me, place the ring onto David's finger. David, with this ring, I thee wed. 
and with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. Join hands again if you would. May these rings be blessed as a symbol of this affectionate union. These two lives are now joined in one unbroken circle. Wherever they go, may they always return to one another in their togetherness. May these two find in each other the love for which all men and women yearn. May they grow in understanding and in compassion. And may the home which they establish together be such a place of sanctuary that many will find there a friend. Now, David and Jennifer, throughout this wedding ceremony, you have vowed to love and remain steadfast and loyal to one another as you stand before your family and friends. You have each formalized and sanctified your bond by the exchange of wedding vows and wedding rings. May your love be eternal and undying. But as you begin this married life together, hold close to these words you have spoken to one another today. Life is not always an easy road, as you both should know. Rely on your faith and the promises that you made today to help you through those times. Ask God to grant you the gifts of caring and understanding in your life together so that each may be to the other a source of strength in a time of need, a counselor in times of uncertainty, a comfort in times of sorrow, and a companion in all of your joys. So now you've consented together and married before this company. You have pledged your faith and declared your unity. And you are now joined in mutual esteem and devotion. Well, God is here joined together. Let no man separate. Therefore, it's by authority vested in me by this great state of Texas, and I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. David, you may kiss your bride. It is my great honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Anthony. <laughs> That's cute. We'll just hang out here, guys. That'd be kind of a cute picture of them walking through all the kids.